सो हेलो गाइस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वैलेंसी ना विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर क्लास एट आल्सो क्लास नाइन आल्सो क्लास टेन आल्सो सीबीएसई सिलेबस वैलेंसी इट्स मस्ट इट्स ए केमिस्ट्री पार्ट हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द वैलेंसी एक्चुअली व्हाट इज वैलेंसी नो टू गो थ्रू द वैलेंसी every student should go through the atomic numbers of all the elements like hydrogen atomic number is 1 helium 2 lithium 3 beryllium 4 i have already given you a very easy concept easy trick to memorize the first 20 elements of the chemical compounds uh, sorry for of the chemical elements now here i will just explain you how to find out the valency so for valency in my previous video i have explained you about the electronic configuration a simple electronic configuration means uh, i have explained you the arrangement of electrons in an atom so once again just we will revise because through that only we are able to find out what will be the valency of any particular element you see for example uh, we are just uh, talking about the sodium okay we just talking about sodium the atomic number of sodium is 11 so what will be the arrangement so here in the k shell this is the first shell this is the second shell and this is the third shell so see in the first shell k shell we know not more than 2 the maximum number of electrons can be accommodate in k shell is 2 similarly in the second shell the maximum will be 8 okay now 2 plus 8 is 10 so one more is outside one more so this is the simple way the arrangement of electrons in an atom now my question is the concept is how to find out the valency now here you see for valency for every element to be a stable it required octet in the outermost shell so here the outermost shell is the third shell but here electrons are one but actually it need eight electrons for the stability of the atom eight electrons are required but here is one so it required seven more electrons isn't it now keep it like this now take the example of chlorine chlorine is 17 chlorine is 17 so 17 means in the first shell 2 in the second shell 8 in the third shell 7 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 7 is 17 so in the outermost shell seven electrons are there that means it is also not stable because octet is not completed octet means must in the outermost shell eight electrons must be there but here is one here is seven neither this is stable nor it comes under the principle of octet then what happened they both mutually found a bond that is covalent bond what happened it requires one and this requires seven okay so one and seven here is one because it requires seven electrons and this chlorine atom requires only one electrons so both will have bonding then what happened this seven will this one will share with the seven so it becomes eight then what happens the one will go to uh, chlorine then what happens then outermost shell will become the second shell will be the outermost why because the one is shared with chlorine now this is become completely octet now this is also octet but here what happens here electrons are negatively charged particles so protons number of protons is equal to number of electrons in sodium 11 means 11 positive 11 protons are there and 11 negative 11 minus signs are there electrons are there plus 11 minus 11 both cancels each other so atoms is neither positive nor negative now <clears throat> means it is electrically neutral but here what happen one electron is shared with the chlorine so here the number of electrons left here is 10 here is 10 
and number of protons are 11 now you see plus or so plus 11 minus 11 uh, plus 11 and minus 10 becomes plus 1 so this becomes positively charged because one negative is shared with other now chlorine chlorine initially the atomic number is 17 that means protons number of protons are plus 17 initially it is also electron means minus 17 minus and plus these are the charges but here one electron is shared means the number of electron is increased here 18 now it become minus 1 so chlorine is negatively charged it is positively charged this is negatively charged this sharing of electrons are called ions cations and ions okay i will explain you when we will say cation and when we will say anion but it's a, so, so that is why we see in the book sometimes chlorine single minus sign sodium plus sign like this so means what plus means they have given out their electrons minus means they have gained the electrons so okay so this is the manner now i am just talking about the valency valency means here one electron is left in the outermost here seven electrons are left in the outermost so it required seven more and it requires one more so in the outermost orbit those who have seven electrons in the outermost orbit it required one electron to complete the octet so that is the valency of all the elements who have seven in their outermost their valency is one okay and those who have six those who have six electrons in the outermost they require two electrons to make octet so the valency is two so we are talking about the valency how to find out the valency of any element now those who have five in the outermost in the outermost orbit those who have five electrons they require three more electrons that means the valence is three so one seven plus one is eight six plus two is eight five plus three is eight means these are the valences so if the outermost like carbon they have the uh, the uh, carbon atomic number is 6 so initially in the first cell 2 electrons in the second cell 4 electrons it's not uh, comes under octet so it required 4 so here 4 is the valency but the elements which have 3 okay 3 we will see the example of boron boron the atomic number of boron is what 5 the atomic number of boron is 5 means in the first cell 2 electrons in the second cell the remaining 3 electrons means how many electrons it required to make octet 5 electrons are required but when 3 will bond with 5 what happens all the 3 will move to that part which required 3 electrons so so here all the three are moving means the those who have three they will give out so that means how many elements there? they give out all the three so the valence is three so don't get confused those who have five the valence is three but those who have three the valence is three because it don't have that much power to pull five electrons isn't it so if two so valency is 2 because 2 will bond with that which have 6 electrons in the outermost and 2 and 6 both will bond. So 2 cannot pull the 6 but all 6 can pull the 2. So the 2 will go towards the 6. So and 1 is 1. See the sodium case. In the sodium case one electron is shed to the chlorine and and the outermost cell become the second two and eight so like this so don't get confused those who have seven in the outermost one is the valency six means two five means three four either you can go like this or like this it's one way but here what happened all the three here one will pull here six will pull to two here five to three and here both but here what happens 
three will go to that element which has part two will go one will go so that means for valency one two three though if the number of electrons present in the outermost are one two three so their valency will be the same but if they have five six seven the valency will be that how much required to make octet so this is how we have to find out the valency of any element okay you just revise it so for this also we required to go through all the atomic numbers of chemical elements so we will see you in another video with another interesting topic till then bye